We're going to go now to the... We are going to Danbury. To the, uh, the mayor of Danbury, uh, Mark Boughton. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Hey, you guys are doing a terrific job. I'm enjoying the show. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you've seen a lot of election nights, so that you are an expert <laughs> on these things, so, so we appreciate that. Uh, what, uh, how is the vote count going in Danbury tonight? Yeah, we're going to be a while. Um, we had about 12,000 absentee ballots that were, were, have pretty much opened up and are sorting through. I will tell you that it was a very interesting phenomenon uh, looking at the absentee ballots today because you're allowed to observe and then looking at the machine count that came off the machines. And what we're seeing is that there was a sudden tilt towards uh, the Republicans on the machines. In fact, we were just talking about Congresswoman Shays. She lost or came very close to losing the machine count in Danbury. But I know that she's done very well in the absentee ballots just from the ones that I've observed being open. So uh, I'm not really sure what's going on out there, whether it was just the people that came out and voted today thought differently. And, I, and we saw that in our state Senate race and some of our uh, state representative races that we had candidates winning the machine count, but you know losing significantly on the absentee side. And I think part of that is that the voting and the balloting started in mid-September uh, for the absentees. And I think people, there's a lot of things that are going on in people's minds out there. There's frustration with COVID, there's uh, all kinds of stuff. And, and I think at the end, people went in and um, just sort of voted for the disruption that they could vote for. So it's just fascinating to watch. Uh, Danbury uh, was hit very hard early on in the in this global pandemic. Uh, how, uh, how how are you seeing people's habits changing and uh, is it having an effect on, uh, on keeping people safe? Well, you know, I think that uh, everybody is really frustrated and they are basically coveted out. They, they've had enough. They don't want to wear the mask. They don't want to do the social distancing thing, but they know they have to. And Danbury people have been terrific at following the guidance. Um, but at the end of the day, they are frustrated. And, you know, we haven't had our kids in school at all. Right. Uh, they've been right. on distance learning since uh, since the beginning of the school year. And um, we've, we've moved back to uh, phase two. Um, it's, I think, a high level of frustration that we're seeing on people. And you have to start, you know, being concerned about people's mental health. And we're trying to work with some of our senior citizens and other folks that have been basically shut in since March. It's been difficult uh, in frustration. But the problem with that, as you know, that creates more uh, community spread, more uh, infection, and that just drives the rates up higher. So then, you know, the lockdown, one, that cycle continues even uh, faster to, to lock people down. So we're, we've been trying to strike a balance, but it's been hard. It's been hard for our residents. And our goal is to get our businesses open and get people out there and get our schools open as fast as possible, but to do it safely. You've, you've been a, a mayor of the city for quite a while now. Is this the biggest leadership challenge that you've faced, COVID? You know, um, I'll always say that even though it wasn't in Danbury, it was in Western Connecticut. Sandy Hook by far was probably the most tra traumatic thing that I've ever been through, uh, being very close with Pat Loger of Newtown and, and that community. This, But this is right there. I mean, this has been, uh, I think it's been a much, it's been obviously a very slow uh, process and it's been a very painful process and it's fits and starts and um, for six months residents were great now they've really you know sort of hit the wall and, and they and they really they just want to go out and uh, go back to their lives and, and I think all of us kind of agree our lives will never be the same until we figure this thing out and that's going to take some time and Thanksgiving and Christmas are coming and people want to congregate <laughs> and they are you know and, and it's uh I'm not the most welcome person now in the room because I'm telling people, you know, you can't have more than a couple of people for Thanksgiving. And, you know, maybe you should think about not having that holiday party. And that's been difficult. And um, I think all elected officials in general are um, kind of taking it on the chin. But I, I think all of us, you know, regardless of party affiliation, want uh, a healthy and safe community. Well, you don't want to be the mayor who stole Christmas, so uh, <laughs> don't. You can steal Christmas. It's Halloween, Kevin. Yeah. Don't mess with Halloween. <laughs> Never mess with Halloween. Yes. Well, <laughs> Halloween and no school. That's a tough. That's a tough yeah. combination. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's been difficult, and uh, it's been a, it's been a long and difficult night as well. We're still, you know, there's it's, there's been a dearth of, of election information. I'm sure you all have, have been uh, struggling to get, you know, good numbers on these races. And you're hearing anecdotal stories. And I certainly, I don't want to give out anything that's not correct uh, in terms of whether somebody won or lost. So 
certainly uh, uh, we'll keep tracking it. But I really thought we'd have things wrapped up by about midnight. I told Kevin that early on, Doobie, and I, and, and I just don't think that's going to happen. I mean, I had to send some of our folks home. Um, you know, they're elderly, uh, our workers, and they're just – they're not doing it for the money. Let's put it that way. But they're, they they do it because they love democracy. But they 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 needed a break, so they've gone home, take a break, and they'll come back in early in the morning. It really is pretty amazing how well our elections ran in the state, given everything that you know, we were up against. It's really pretty impressive. So, absolutely, even the drop boxes, the 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 you know those boxes that everybody was making all kinds of wild claims about worked fantastically well. And, you know, we've got three of them that are installed around the city. There's cameras on them. And our town clerk is very diligent about emptying them. Um, I think, you, I don't think those are going to go away anytime soon. I think they're going to be used in election after election. And as they should be they're they're just easy to use and simple for us to use. Well, thank you so much, Mayor Bouton, for joining us. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks, everything. And keep up the great work, everybody. Thank you.